Hi, David B. and Cooley from TV Worth Watching. We're doing Best TV tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday, November 6th, and I'm going to recommend something I've recommended before, but last time it was coming from a different country and coming from a streaming site. So instead of coming from England, now it's coming from PBS, from great performances, but it's the same televised production uh, that James Corden uh, was in and won a Tony for when he was over here. It's One Man, Two Governors. But now you can just see it on PBS and it's really funny. And if you didn't see it when it was here and you didn't see it when it was streamed, now you can see it. And I'll be watching it again because I laughed an awful lot the first time. It's a, it's a straight out ridiculous farce but the cast members really get into it, and so does the audience, the theatrical audience, on the day that it was taped. Hi, I'm Derek Elroy. This is a Theatre Royal Haymarket, the venue for One Man, Two Governors, a show of satire, song, and slapstick. Lots and lots to see, lots and lots to do. Follow me, keep up, it's fast. When she runs like a glimpse of the divine. And okay, let's go and find Martin Barras. I believe it's this way. Oh! 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 There he is. Oh! Actually, I'm fine. He's just protecting myself by using the nap of the hand and a bang with the foot there, as near to the door as possible. Okay? So the audience know you're all right. Now, the next bit, we kind of a piece of business we invented ourselves here. I'm meant to be hanging on to this door in a bit of a daze, watching the action there, and Stanley Stubbers exits, but I still hold on to the door. So after three, one, two, three. So what you're doing again is you, you try and get as near as possible your head to the door there so it looks a bit dangerous, so there's a bit of jeopardy there. But what you're doing actually is stopping it with your hand, or better still, upstage hand, so you're not being so you can't be seen. Like that there. Bring me wine now. Derek, you're far too young to drink, but here goes. Right, and here's the wine bottle, and here's the cork, and oh, it's a bit tough. This. Oh. Ali? I think he's hurt. <laughs> ah, but the magic of theatre means that you're not hurt at all because when you're falling over with this, or oh, by the way, the sound effect is made one, two, three. That's it. That's great. Great big effect, so it hits the back of the gallery there. Now, with this um, falling over, Though you're doing it very quickly, because what's preceded this is a lot of grunting, groaning, a lot of tricks with a bottle, getting it open for a doddery old man. But with the final one, as you pull it up, it hits you on the head and you fall down quite quickly. But the, I think the, the watchword is slow motion. Imagine you're doing it in slow motion. So as you fall down, you've hit your head there, bang, big reaction there. You spiral down, get your knee there. So you've got knee pads on, which protect the knees, of course. Down there. Elbows protected. So the last thing of all that goes down is your head, which you can do at leisure, even though it's meant to be quite quick, and you end up with the bottle there. Oh, no. What's the story of One Man Two Governors about? What is the story of One Man Two Governors about? What is the story about? Well, Francis Henshaw, our hero, has been fired from the skittle band, so he's down at heel and he gets employment from two masters, but the masters mustn't meet each other. He's getting two salaries, so it's all this kind of like toings and throwings. And Fast and frantic action. Yeah. In absolutely. order to deceive his two masters. Now this is a hand of a feat, which is taken on by Rufus Hound. Absolutely. Supported by us lot. Yeah. It's great. Oh, it's a bit tough, this. Oh! <laughs> Timing! <laughs> Timing! <laughs>